Hi, this is Dr. Daniel Amen, telling you why a psychiatrist who looks at people's brains for a living makes chocolate. Um, chocolate is good for your brain. So let's just start there. It's the stuff they put in it, the dairy and the sugar, that make it bad for you. And my grandfather was a candy maker, and he was very special to me. I was named after him. He was my best friend growing up, and he was a candy maker. So I used to stand at the stove and make fudge and pralines and chocolate with him, but it was filled with the wrong stuff. I mean, like a lot of sugar and uh, dairy, and it made him sick, and it took him away from me way too early, and I love him, love chocolate, and uh, realize that God gave us a big brain for a reason, that if we used our brain, we could actually make chocolate that was good and healthy for us. And so I created Brain and Love, uh, which is made with dark chocolate, uh, with stevia and erythrosol. This little bar, um, it's only 140 calories, uh, so significantly less than most chocolate bars, and it has nine grams of fiber, which I really love because fiber is good for your whole system, many uh, wonderful ways. Um, it, it tastes like, I mean, literally awesome and amazing. And chocolate has been shown to increase blood flow to the brain, increase antioxidants, and increase a chemical awesome, called phenylethylamine that alerts your brain stem that something fun is about to happen. So there are a lot of studies showing that it's good for your brain. But one of the reasons that I, I make it is people generally have the wrong idea about getting well. I mean, again, about getting really serious about getting physically well. Many people think, oh, I'm not going to do that because it's about deprivation. And it's really not about deprivation. It's about abundance. You just want to have the abundance of the right thing so you get what you really want in your life, which is great energy, clarity of thought, and good health. When you do the wrong thing, you're really depriving yourself of what you really want, which is your good health. Um, some of you have probably seen the movie City Slickers. It's one of my favorite movies. And um, Jack Palance's character, he's this rough old cowboy, and he's talking to Billy Crystal's, um, Billy Crystal's character, and he's like, the one thing, son, the one thing. And then he died before he could say the one thing. And Earlier this year, I actually channeled Jack Palance, and I figured out what's the one thing to get healthy. You ready for it? The one thing to get healthy is when you do the right thing, stop feeling deprived. That's why I made Brain in Love, so that you could get healthy and have awesome treats that were actually good for your soul and healthy for your brain.